Hello everyone, this is Direwolf20, and welcome to episode 67 of Direwolf20's Let's Play of FTB Sky's Expert Skyblock Mode, where I'm killing some Marids. And they don't even fight back. Poor Marids. That's a shame. I don't even know, dude. A lot of help, though. I'm gonna do this mostly off camera, but I wanted to start the episode by showing you what I was working on today. Um, so, just wanted to continue kind of what we were working on last episode today. I want to um, continue automating a lot of the uh, processes around my base, right? I want I want to have the ability to automate all the things. Um, now that we have access to to that kind of cool stuff, we can do that, right? Sweet. Did the thing, everybody cool, we're good to go. Ready to do another one? Yes, sir. One, two, three, four, five. So I'm, I'm absolutely working towards getting this guy upgraded to a tier six data model. If you remember, um, I, I did the Marid one because Marids drop Afrit. So like I did the data model for Marid and then realized, oh, or not Marid for the Afrit, right? And then, yeah, that was that was that was not not a good time. So uh, now I'm doing the correct uh, approach, which is um, slaying six Marids which should give me the drops for aphrodescence. And the reason I want to do that is, no, like, A, I'm out of aphrodescence, so I need to do this because I, I need the drops. But also, uh, more importantly, I want to be able to make entangled blocks. Uh, last episode, I set up a energy transfer thing with modular routers, and it is not fast enough. It is not. I've, I've upgraded a bunch. I don't know what other upgrades I can put in it, so I'm just going to, like, go for broke and throw down an entangled block and call it a day. Not a big deal. Not a big deal at all. By the way, are you guys... Did you finish another set of... Okay, good, you did. Yoink. All right, so you're going to go here with your eight. And then you're going to swap this out. Yoinks. Uh, and the reason I have to do this is because uh, I need blocks of Iceneum. So uh, I had uh, half a stack of Iceneum is, is, is three, so I just need another half a stack, which is what we're working on right now. Huzzah! Works pretty good, right? I'll take it. And everybody who yells at me about using ticket accelerators too much, you know, keep in mind, I'm trying to make entertaining YouTube content here. It can it can be boring waiting for stuff to process, right? So let's make sure that everything's good. Speaking of boring, you've seen me kill two of these guys. I need to kill four more. Uh, very boring to watch. So I'm going to go finish them off, and we'll be right back. All right, if I'm not mistaken, this will be number six. Nice. So now we can just go pop this dude right in here. You guys can actually come out for a sec. So I've got enough wither predictions going on, I suspect, right? Um, so I'll put you away, we'll get you out. You can go back into my backpack. You can go in there and with a little bit more, I should probably make more of these. That'll be good. Cool, cool, and cool. All right. And then if I wanted to, I could speed up the process just a smidge. Uh, and then in theory, what we should get is aphrodescence after a successful prediction, right? Uh, and your model accuracy improve over time, obviously, as usual. So there we go. And now we can get good stuff. Sweet. Okay. And now I can use that to make an entangled block. Now, here's my thought. Why don't I just like teach you how to make an entangled block? Does that sound cool? I like that plan. Cause that's what we're gonna wanna be doing a, a bunch of, right? Is automating stuff. So if I came over here and said, this recipe equals entangled block, right? Um, now you know how to make quantum mechanisms, right? That's that. We've got a few of that. Machine frames can also be made in a quantum assembler. Okay. Um, what else do I need to know how to make? Lumium glass, quantum mechanisms, and fluix pearls. Fluix pearls should be 
a manual craft type deal. That's pretty cool. Uh, now we know how to make fluids crystals, so that's cool. We don't know how to make fluids dust yet, but we'll get there. Um, what else did I want to know? You know what I want to know? I want to know how to make all the components for machine frames, because these things are always a hassle, right? Um, so what we should have is you, you, and you, and you, right? So that would be this, that would be this, that would be you, and you. One, two. And we'll get the overcharged thing going later. Right? And now we can put all this stuff straight up in here, right? So this is all like the manual crafting things. Sweet. Okay. Uh, and these two are going to go in some machine block. Okay. So does that mean I can make an entangler now? Yes, except I need the aphrodite essence in there and I need the lumium glass. But that's okay. We can make that happen. Um, let's first process all you guys. Might as well. And then lumium glass... I'm going to I'm going to set automation up. Over, you know, let's just do it now. Let's get the automation set up over here properly, right? Um cuz we want to we want to automate you, right? So that would be cool. Um And this guy's probably going to have a similar problem that this one did with the whole I need to figure out how to attach this thing directly. Um but luckily we won't have too much of a problem because we do have access to the bottom of that block. So we should have no problem you know, like, we already have power going to the bottom, right? So, like, we can just attach the thing perfectly fine. So let's get that set up now if we can. Um, can I just clear you guys out? Thank you. And then vacuum all those things up. Thank you very much. And that's cool. All right, so the plan is thus. All right, we put you guys away. And then we can run our AE2 cabling up here the same way we did before. So we've got some smart. We've got some of you. Um, we might need you, but probably not. P2P tunnels I do want and my memory card. Okay. Um, and then pattern providers, right? That should be cool. So now we're going to probably want more cable. I'm actually surprised at how little cabling I have, but we can get more of that. Well, maybe. That's right, you require quartz dust and a rolling machine. You have to be all sneaky with your whole how to make this thing. Do we have quartz dust handy? We do. You know what I'm gonna do? Do it up. get me a stack of those which can be upgraded to a stack of wool and then redstone and glowstone I should probably automate the crafting of those too but we'll get there so much to automate now that we can all right, so then you're going to be one of those flat facing pattern providers, right? And similar to what I did here, um, we'll set up a modular router that'll handle this, right? And do the uh, inserting extracting deal. I think that sounds like a plan. Um, so what we're gonna want is a modular router, and then we're gonna want a sender and a puller, okay? And then your job, if I break you, Right. Your job will be to sender right into there. Maybe because he's offline, it doesn't recognize it as being a valid send. That's very possible. All right, so then let's run 
you guys that cool looks pretty cool okay and then memory card it up so now he should be online cool and he will now be a valid sender destination yes am i doing this wrong isn't this how i did this because we pulled from the fabrication matrix right and then we send her why are you not connecting you are a mark two right so that's the kind of combined yep am i crazy here do you not like that i was flying while i was doing it i guess that's possible yeah, he does not like me to be flying when I do it. Weird. That's a weird kind of limitation, right? Okay, so now you're cool. Now you're going to pull her from there. So you pull and push. And that should be all there is to it, right? Should be cool, I think. And then we can set up our patterns on this guy. Awesome. Um, now, because we've already connected this peering here, I also want to bring some peering up here. And that shouldn't be a big deal. So you know what I'm going to actually do? I'm going to actually wrench this so that the peering is facing upward. Okay. So we'll P to P this facing upward here. And I might need a dense, but we'll start with a basic. Okay. And now you're online and then you're connected. And then what I can do... I'm almost certainly going to need a dense here, aren't I? I'm almost certainly going to need a dense here. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm not even going to waste my time not having a dense cable here. Okay, so you're going to go off in that direction, and then you're going to go off in this direction for mechanism. Okay, and then you can go off in this direction um, for thermal machines. Is that cool? And if I wanted to, I could just do like a little quartz dude here and like do this. Or I could do an anchor, realistically. Either one works. Okay. So this will be my thermal machine automation line, which is basically going to just come across... here. Okay, and that'll connect to all my thermal machines. And then this dude can connect up to all my mechanism machines. Does that sound cool? Okay, now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight currently that we need to automate. I suspect there will probably be more at some point in the future. Um, but that's okay, because then I could like run another one this way and up to there to handle those. Is that fair? I think that should be fair. Okay, cool. So let's get like the prep for this will be something like you, right? Like we would do this and that would be cool. Um, and then you guys would all get set to automation style. Now you also have to insert... Um, the whatchamacallits, yeah, that thing, right. Um, I might do something different. I don't know, we'll figure that out. You yeah, know, we'll figure, yeah, we'll see. Um, Cause like, we're gonna wanna automate the insertion of these. So that's gonna be like, but that's only for like three or four of them. What I should do is move that infuser closer to these infusers, but eh, whatever, we'll figure it out. There's so much to do, so much to do. Okay, now for you guys, it's going to be a similar deal. 
Um, now you're a fractioning still. I may not automate you. Centrifugal separator and blast chiller. I don't know if you guys need automating, but like these three, the induction smelter, the fluid encapsulator, and the magma crucible almost certainly do need automating, right? So um, we can do these three like this. Okay. And yeah, it should be cool. I really want like an electronic smelter here too, but we'll we'll get there when we get there. Okay. So now if I wanted you again, remind me, what did I need? I needed lumium glass. That's right. So let's get lumium glass automated. So you're gonna be hardened glass and lumium plate, right? And then hardened glass is an induction smelter of those things. Okay. Now I did between episodes hook this thing up. So we should have easy access through AE to all those resources. But remember, they don't translate over to here because it's a one-way connection. AE can read occultism. Occultism cannot read AE. Right? But that's okay. We're going to deal with that in a bit. So now if I want an aphrodescence or a, 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 an entangled dude, we've got all the things we need. Sweet. So now it's making machine frames, I assume. Available, scheduled. You know what I might need to do is do the uh, the whole thingy with the don't do stupid stuff. All right, you also need, so two things. One, um, do not push ingredients if it contains a pattern input and until primary crafting result is returned. Because remember, thermal does not behave well with that stuff. And then your back config will be that with an auto output. Cool. And you guys should get the same, right? So blocking mode, primary, you with an output. Blocking mode, primary crafting result, you with an output. Okay. And then you can push your fluids in. And presumably those fluids will make their way into here somehow, right? Like. Yeah, it should be cool, right? None of these guys are locked, so they should be like valid receipts for that kind of thing. Cool. I think that should work. And then my entangled block is done. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, and speaking of entangled, can I have this guy, please? Oh, we're low on obsidian. Uh, what do we do for obsidian again? We could water magma blocks. I really need to set up like some kind of like automated obsidian doohickey. So you require lava to do that. I could just blast chiller lava, super cooling lava, advanced mixer water and lava. There's lots of ways to do it. I think still that this is kind of the, the easiest way. Because those things are not hard to get. What I do need to do though is have a dedicated water guy because what I usually wind up doing is this. I need a dedicated fan for the water and then that would be cooler once we get around to like properly automating it you know what I mean. Sweet. So then I should be able to do that no problem. Okay, let's get this thing no longer doing. See like how long it's taking to fill this up? It is not fast enough. So no more energy stuff, right? You're just gonna do this and this and then you're done, okay? What I'm gonna do instead is entangle this block. And that should be filling up now. Sweet. Okay, I like it. Now, I did have a transfer limit on this guy, so maybe that's why. Um, it might have been that this guy probably could have worked, now that I realize that transfer limit was there, but eh, whatever. It's still cool. I'm still a fan. 
Okay, so you go away. Because that was like a lot of module stuff that I just didn't feel like having to have to deal with. All right, so now you guys are automated over here and we can easily expand all our mechanism automations. Let's look at also automating um, probably other things we'd want to automate include over here-ish maybe for like our, our stampers and all that stuff. I mean, at the very least, these guys need to be automated. Um, and how I'm going to do that is a question that I don't have a great answer to just yet. Because I know we're going to want to like insert things in here, but then auto extract them. So I could do similar to what I did with like the, the whatchamacallit with the, with the things, but we'll see. So what machines do I have to automate here? I need to automate the stamper. The I, I would like to automate this one, but that means keeping him fueled, but that shouldn't be the bigger deal. Uh, if I need to automate him. I don't know that I do. Not much else over here needs to be automated just yet, per se. But I would like to automate smelting stuff. Um, yeah. So we definitely at least want to do these two. Right, these two machines. So let's be prepared to do that. Okay, so we're going to want another chest. Actually, I think I have some in my inventory. Okay, and then we're going to do a similar deal here. But what I'm going to do instead is the following. On the down, you're not going to insert on purple. You're just going to extract orange. And on the south, you're going to extract on purple, insert orange. But this is going to wind up being to a pattern provider. Okay, so let's get some more laser I.O. Okay, now on the down, do you have a filter of some kind? You do. You allow... Okay, so because we're going to be inserting everything we want, we shouldn't need a filter here no more, right? And then on the south, you probably do want to have a filter for the extracts, right? Because I don't think it's smart enough to say, like, this is a process, we're done with it, you can extract it. This machine doesn't do that. So we still want the filter. Whether we keep it as a tag filter or like a whitelist filter, I don't know, but we'll stick with the tag filter for now because it's probably working pretty well. Now for you, we are going to want, so let's clear you out because I don't need this anymore. Let's trash Mr. Stick. And yeah, I know I can disable them, but I don't know. I'm silly about that stuff sometimes. Um, so on the down here, okay. Uh, wow, we have a lot of junk, don't we? Let's clean up all this mess. Why do I quest complete energy card? Sweet. Okay. So then on the down, you will also extract on orange. Okay. And then on the north, or south I mean, you're going to extract on purple with a filter. And we're going to specify what's allowed to come out of there with a with a with an item filter not a tag filter and then you're also going to insert on orange cool cool and then underneath okay we're going to have an interface here and here okay and we're going to have a laser node here on the up you're going to insert on purple and then if we connect these dudes, um, and since we want to connect them, we should use a different color here. So on the down, instead of being orange, you're going to be light blue and light blue. So light blue that way, orange that way, both extracting on purple and sending into the interface. Cool? Cool. Beautiful. I like it. Deal? Deal. Okay, with that working now, we just need to run our cables, which shouldn't be too bad. That looks pretty well aligned. So you... And then memory card.
Perfect. And now we can automate iron sheets and whatnot. Cool. Now, another thing I'd like to do, because I'm just doing all the things today, is wireless access terminal. I decided I'm going to make one and have a large enough radius to cover the base if I can. We'll see how big of a radius it'll handle. Um, and if I can make it work in my base, that'll be good because then I can access things wherever. And then for my occultism store, um, I don't have to worry about it as much because I'll, I'll, I'll still have it when I need it. Is that cool? That's the plan. So let's get a wireless terminal and that'll help us understand what we're missing automation wise. So if I want a wireless crafting terminal, which is definitely something I want, and what quest did I complete? Pipe dreams, ooh, filters, and energy cards. Cool. Okay, you go away, and you guys go away, and you, and that's all cool and good enough. All right, so wireless terminal, let's get that going first. Um, and then we're also gonna want the wireless access point. Uh, you're done, actually. Wireless booster. I definitely want that. And quantum bridge card will be an eventually kind of deal. That should be fine. All right, so let's get started with you. So you need what? So I can control click that. Nice. That's what's up. Loving that, huh? Beautiful. And like, oh, we should automate these guys, too. We should definitely automate those dudes. Okay. Um, now, is this relatively centered? It's um, kind of close to centered-ish. So I guess we could probably tap into something there. Um, what we could do is just uh, connect him wireless access point like that. Is that cool? Okay. That works, right? Uh, now what, do we still need that like security thing in order for this to work in this version? Do we still need the security terminal? I feel like we do, right? We still need this in order for this all to work? I think so. Did that go away in later versions of Minecraft? I kind of forget. Okay, so now for you, we're going to want another one of these. Okay, and then we're going to want a crafting terminal, which needs an ME terminal, which means that. That. Not today, friend. Uh, and then crafting terminal, which we can make the components for. Nice. Starting to get excited about how automation's coming together now. Okay, and now just you needs eight energy cells. Nice. Excited to have all that already. Very cool. Now, uh, I should get a flux controller so it auto charges stuff, right? I could probably work towards that. Um, this is like the first time I'm really needing some kind of like charge it up dude zoinks okay right device not linked and I'm pretty sure the only way to link it is with a security terminal dude right yeah so I believe, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I need one of you. So that's gonna need you. I actually have some of those. I don't know why, but I'll take it. Uh, and then you need an ME terminal. Do you know how to make those yet? Oh, you do, yay. Good job, me. Okay, and then that binds to that, and then we can access AE. Nice. That is cool. Sort by number of items, descending, full height terminal, small, medium, tall, full height. Yes, perfect, awesome. So that means I now have access to wireless. That's cool. Now if I go into my options and controls, keybinds, category, occultism, we can remove tab from storage accessor. 
and then uh, open wireless. Terminal. Haha! -ha! Nice. Now, what's the range look like on this? Not great. Until we get boosters going. Okay. Uh, should I just teach you wireless boosters or should I just make a bunch? Mm, I'm going to just make a bunch. Uh, so, to get Ender Dust, we're going to need to mill Ender Pearls. So, let's get like just a stack of them and throw them into the miller. Is that cool? Do you not extract? Sweet, 32. Okay, more than I thought I would get, but that's okay. Um, that's why I get two per. Yeah, that's fine. I don't know how many you can accept, right? But you're probably going to use a lot of RF to do that. But I guess we'll see what happens. How are we on RF use, by the way? Um, RF. 1,000 RF a tick? That is a lot. How are you handling that? Are you cool with that number? You're draining, but you're not spinning yet. When he spins, I'll know for sure if this is a problem, right? So as soon as he drops below the spin level, we'll know in a second if we're net gaining or net lossing while the battery or while the rotation's occurring. Ah, let's go, buddy. Waiting on you to start spinning. Any minute now. Gonna start spinning. I can sense it. I mean, this is not a bad sign. I suspect this is a good sign. Also, can I access my wires? Ooh, I can. Nice. How about from, like, way back here? Yes, perfect. That's what's up. I'm cool with that. It's not interdimensional yet, but we'll get there. Oh, look, net gain. Woohoo! That means we're cool. That means we're fine, at least for now. I'm sure once I start, like, processing a bunch of stuff, it'll be a little bit more fun, but it'll be fine. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to wrap up the episode here. We'll come back next time. We'll start setting up more and more automations uh, as we progress. Um, so that's really cool, right? I mean, other automations we're going to want to tap into is probably going to be over here and this guy. Um, whether we, I, what I'll probably wind up doing is for the sake of uh, ease of use, I can probably just expand this wire and just, you know, run off this, this tap so that we can limit the number of Fluix channels we're using here. I think that's the smart play for sure. So we'll do, like, uh, this advanced inscriber dude. If I remember correctly, can't he, like, do cool stuff with uh, advanced inscribers? Like, don't they auto-output or something? Am I remembering that correctly? Oh, you can do signal. Okay, that's cool. If I can do this at least and give him one more speed upgrade, yes. Nice. Okay, cool. Um, yeah, I feel like advanced inscribers are, like, smart with their patterns, but we'll find out if, if that's true. And then we're going to want a pattern dude here, and we're going to make this an interface right which is craftable which is awesome right you're going to become an interface block okay and then you're going to get the 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 the, the pattern sweet okay cool for now doll 20 sign off hope you guys enjoyed the episode we'll come back next time to do uh to do more of this uh but for now you know the deal take it easy